Hello and welcome back to my rehearsal space. Today I will be working with four different exercises that hopefully will help me improve my coordination between my hands and my feet. My goal is to be able to elevate my drum fills and drum grooves by being able to play linear drum beats or also like better chops uh, mixing my hands and my bass drum. So I picked these four exercises because I feel like these are the foundation of 16th note uh, linear drum beats. So I'm gonna start uh, by just telling you a little bit what I'm going to do. Uh, for these four exercises, I will play whole notes with my left foot. These patterns are really short, therefore I'm just gonna count one, two, three, four. So with the left foot, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and then with these different exercises, I'm going to play three notes with my hands against one note with the kick, and I'm going to be moving the kick on the different spots. So four, three, two, one. And then at the end, why not? We'll see if I can mix them all together and make a fifth exercise. Exercise number one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Our tempo is going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Exercise number two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.
Exercise number three. Now the bass drum goes on beat two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. Finally, we have exercise number four. This time we're playing both feet on one, and then we have the hands on two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Here we go. As a bonus exercise, let's see if we can transition between all of them. 
So for that, I'm going to play the first pattern four times, move on to the second one, play it four times, the third one, play it four times, the fourth one, play it four times, and then try to cycle through that for two minutes without losing the beat. So we'll see how that goes. This is how the pattern is gonna go. I'm gonna play it a little bit slower now. One. Then transition to number two. Three. Four. All right. Here we go, two minutes. <laughs> 